Hello everyone, this is Captain MKG here. Thank you so much for joining me for our second episode of our subsistence Let's Play Survival Series. Season 3, we're going into Episode 2. And as you probably recall from last time, we didn't really get too far. We just got far enough to uh, get a campfire going, get some logs per uh, not purchased, but, you know, logs done. And now we have a little platform ready, so we are going to consider uh, where to put our new base. Don't come at me, dude. Don't do it. Ah, balls, he did it. Fuck me. And this is where we run like hell. Ah! Scared me. Balls. Jesus. Sorry about that, everyone. Sorry, sorry, sorry. We're going to try the old scheme of jump and run. And pray he doesn't come after me again. Again, normally I would try to go after the wolves and the bears, but we're in the... Really? Come on, dudes. Give me a day. All right, well, if I'm going to be running and jumping, I'm at least going to grab this damn chicken. Gotcha. All right, there's dinner. I got dinner, you bastards. Ha 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 ha. Shiraj, you are, wolves. Shiraj, you are. I say that as a bear comes creeping out of my side view and mauls me to death. All right, well, at least they gave up. Anyways, welcome back, everybody. <laughs> uh, so once... Oh, Jesus, God. Okay. It's not winning today. Wolves are everywhere. Yes, yes, I know. I'm getting away from you. Damn rabbits, I was hoping for a chicken. I would stop for that crate, but I don't know where that wolf is, and I really don't want to find out quite right now. Whee! So the game plan for today is to go over to the big lake over on the west side. And, oh, that's new. So I went a little too far up north into the mountains, and hence, I got a cold warning. So, no worries, though. We're going to try and... Yes, I know, bear. Oh my lord, I just can't win today. Alright, well, at least I got something for my troubles, aside from a, a chicken. All right, so now that we've gone over to the east, we're heading back over to the west to go ahead and put our platform down and start building our base. And as I mentioned, I think in the first video, but I'll mention it here for everyone who's just tuning in, uh, one thing I am gonna do is the first time I die, uh, that's when I'm gonna go ahead and put down the base command unit and that's gonna be the end of that. So we'll see how long that lasts. <laughs> All right, I think we have a brief moment of reprieve. So aside from watching out for the bears, wolves, and not dying, we're also going to go ahead and try to gather up as much as humanly possible. And we're going to see what kind of, I don't want to say mischief, but just how far survival-wise we can get today. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. Oh, Jesus. Oh, there goes that idea of getting that great. Mostly I'm just trying to wait until I get a shotgun built. Then I'll feel a little more secure. Because don't get me wrong, I can probably do some damage here with the pistol. But I also want to make sure I don't prematurely get myself mauled to death. Which, honestly, would be a very interesting cutscene. <laughs> but hopefully I get at least another two more days, maybe. Alright. The left-hand corner... Got it. Check. Oh, come on. Really? Where? Well, he's close. I know that one. She's prob he's probably chasing me now. I know, Bear. You're angry. But at least I didn't steal your honey, bet. Honey. God damn. God damn it. Where are you all coming from? It's like I just wandered into the place of death. The Valley of Death. I wonder if the Valley of Death is trademarked. Oh. Don't test me, bear. I just wanted a chicken. Okay, that's all I wanted was a damn chicken. Can you let me live with half that, please? Jeebus. It's like I'm going to have to go out and thin the herd a little bit. And by thinning the herd, I just mean going out and actually killing some excess creatures. Uh-huh. Alright. No 
No bears for the moment. No wolves for the moment. Two live chickens. Oop, thank you. Yeah, sometimes the the loot tends to get away from you a little bit. Damn it. Spook the rabbit. Oh well. But hey, at least he's taking me to some new places. I should have gotten that scrap, but in terms of priority, I'll take the crate over scrap any day, because it's a good chance. Maybe, just maybe. Damn it. Now well, there could have been scrap in there, but oh well. Not happening today. So you might have noticed in my inventory here, I do have my fishing rod finally. So one thing we're going to try and do later once we get to the night is not only... Um, ooh, double bunnies. Is not only try to get some fishing lures created, but we're also going to try and get some... Ah, oh, damn it. You made me spook the other rabbit. Don't get any ideas, you bastard. Yeah, yeah, I'm already running away. The big bad wolf scared me. Ooh. He's coming after me. I'm just going to take him down because I want that extra crate. Nope. All right. Ooh. As you might not be able to notice, right there by the wolf, that's a potato plant. Which, again, late game will be useful once I can actually cook up, uh, you know, a few more refined, not refined, but just more hearty meals to help increase my overall hit points and stamina points. Because I will need every single edge and advantage I can against those hunters once they show up here. Which, like I said, two days maybe, two days max, before I get myself killed. I'm really trying not to get myself killed. I am going to put a cap on it, though. Um, seven days at the most. And if I've managed to survive seven days, well... Hey, I've managed to survive seven days. <laughs> Alright, now... I could have sworn there was a bear over here somewhere. Oh well. Now that we all have whiplash from moving the screen around so much. Ooh, hello, crate. No other crates in the view. So cram we'll grab this. Let's see, can I craft anything? Shotgun, I need sorry bunny. Oh wait, no, there's a dead rabbit already. Thank you. Put that in my inventory, not there. And, oh, I do have some tree grubs. Okay, so I'm gonna have to make some cordage here later. Craft that up real fast. Get some more cordage, and away we go. Remember, folks, ABCs, always be crafting. Or sometimes, in my case, always be crouching, because you just never know. Ooh, okay. Getting better, getting better finds. Not necessarily all the circuit boards, but are necessary, but you know. Not gonna nitpick now. So it'll all come in handy later on. Nothing else will serve the purpose of being able to be recyclable materials. Well, the circuit boards will be one of the last few things I get to recycle, because they're more valuable. I saw that rabbit. I see you, buddy. Damn it! Not listening to myself. Always aim for the upper left-hand corner. Uh oh, well, oh, that was just the board. Are the boards aggressive? Maybe. Four, are you aggressive? Probably. Let's not tempt fate right now. We'll tempt fate once I have a shot. Oh, speaking of shotgun. Load it up. Yeah, now I feel better. Because now I have at least a decent weapon to defend myself, mostly against the bears. And just in case I get spooked by a wolf, 
Uh, usually level one, you can probably take him down with one shot, but you have to get him right square in the head. Otherwise, it's, it just won't happen. Oop, I saw more crates. You can't fool me, game. Well, actually, no, you can't. Ah, oh, son of a bitch, again? Damn it. So once again, the game decides to rub it in my face and show me another lock crate that I can't get yet because I'm not creating my BCU quite yet. Damn bear. And I'm going to have to either rest or refuel or one of the two here shortly. Because I see my stamina going down quite significantly. So next time we get a loot crate to open up, we'll go ahead and stop, pause for a second, refuel, and get back to running around like crazy. And hopefully chopping down a few sixer trees, so that way I don't have to waste time and effort on smaller trees. Which isn't necessarily a bad thing, it's just, if I, if I can avoid it, I didn't bring a snack. Damn it. Alright, so protein will have to suffer for now. That's okay. Once we get a reduction, or sorry, once we get a platform, ooh, thank you. Protein bars work too. I know I ate that pretty fast, but you know, desperate times call for eating like I can, or eating like crazy as fast as I can, as much as I can. Excellent. Game is being very generous with the ammunition today. Which again may have to do with the updates or, you know, just the game thinking, oh, balls, not again. So now with the bears and the shotgun, I think it takes maybe like three shells to take it down. Obviously not the most efficient way, but in a bind, uh, I'd rather burn out three shells than get myself killed. Do -do -do. Oh crap. Alright, well it looks like I'm going to be chopping for a little bit. Chop away until I get my stamina back and then we'll get back to it. In the meantime, quick squid. Yes, when surviving in subsistence land, always make sure that you have a cold beer in front of you at all times. It does help with alleviating the helpful fear of death, but it makes you nervous as all hell. I see the wolf, I see the big sixer in the distance. Usually next to this one there's a bear, so we'll see how well that turns out. But in case I have to let it go, I'm not going to lose sleep over it. No one around? Grab this real fast. Just because this stuff tends to disappear if you leave it there too long. Alright, big sixer. In case you are wondering, Stella are, Stella is my choice of beer for the evening. As I get ready for tomorrow. Which should just be a fun, relaxing day, hopefully. Ooh, hello, Moose. Yeah, during rutting season, those things can be very dangerous. You think the bears are getting mad at you? No way. Those things will just come at you full steam and those antlers. Hey, another bottle of water. But they are timid. They run away once you approach them. But man, they can cause a lot of damage. And I'm not sure if the AI knows exactly where it's supposed to go, but it keeps running around in the wrong direction because I keep running right towards it. But, you know, eventually, once we get our uh, upgraded weapons, we'll be able to get that creature, no problem. And of course, trying to get the upgraded weapons means either getting lock crates open with the lock pick or uh, waiting for the hunters to come over. Pay us a visit. That wasn't a great. 
and Jeebus. All right, well, it's obvious to know which way I'm going now. Uh, yeah, once the hunters come out, you take their base down, do a little deco you do a little destruction, you can get some good supplies out of there. All right, let's see. Ooh, a carrot. Uh, another chicken. All right, let's practice. Upper left-hand corner. Got him. See, chickens are a lot harder to grab because they move a little bit faster, but rabbits, when they're at a slow pace, tend to move a little bit more relaxed so you can get them a little bit faster. And there goes a deer. Speak of the devil. Got him. And honestly, if the meat rots from the chickens, that's fine. No big loss there because, again, we can use them for... Um, you know, creating some can warmers once the winter season gets rolling around and then we have to, you know, keep ourselves warm because our basic clothing won't keep up with it. Oh, yeah. Okay. Now, another thing I like to try and do to kind of keep myself motivated and moving is whenever I do hit a crate, I tend to pause for just a brief second, look around and see if there's anything spectacular. Is that an onion? It is. An oh no! It's a no. Oh wait, fix that. There we go. Haha, uh -huh. Shiraj, you are. This is why I need to put a platform down and create the other things. Because now I'm running out of space for, well, everything. <laughs> so we're going to head over to the lake area here. And this is going to suck, because he's going to squeak. Yeah, I'm sorry. That's going to get dropped out. Pusher, I know. Grab this. Let's do some in quick inventory management. Sorry for the not warning everyone of the kills. Anything else I can put away? Reference? No. So as you can see there, we had some seeds in there from the carrot and onion. Which, you know, again, isn't a bad thing. I'm trying not to burn them out, but again, we can't use them right now until I create the command unit to create the additional materials, or sorry, to utilize the materials I am gathering and creating to make some more advanced items, such as a uh, seed bed. Once I have my seed bed, start making other parts to go ahead and grow fruit and vegetables inside the base. Pray the hunters don't come looking for a cheap kill. Now, honestly, that's the one thing I'm trying to avoid is an easy kill for the hunters. Because if I can at least have an enclosed base, preferably, you know, away from the ocean, or the lake, I should say, not ocean, then, you know, they have to come at me from one direction and they won't be able to surprise me from the lake. However, once we do get to the winter season, the lake does freeze and you can actually walk on the ice. Whether you have boots or not, you can go ahead and easily walk over there, but not not the, not the best thing for your feet in the world in the real world. <laughs> Just gotta grab everything we can while we can, while there's still some decent daylight. Because Lord only knows what the nighttime will bring. Ooh. Blind kill. Damn it. Oh, damn it. Don't like wasting arrows. Don't like wasting arrows. Don't do it. Don't do it. Ah. Now, this is why I try... I used to build a base over in this general area, but because there's always usually a bear over here, I try not to now. Oh, damn it. Well, that was once again my bad, because I wasn't paying attention. Should have been looking out for chicken and other live game. Oh, thank you, chicken. Patience. It's what it's all about.